Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to partition a drive in Kali Linux. Now, it doesn't just work for Kali Linux, it will work for most Debian based system. So, uh, if you are also running Ubuntu or uh, any other Debian based system, this method will also work. What we will be using is something called fdisk. So, first, uh, let me just show you if I just do fdisk dash dash help you can see this has a bunch of options and the one we will be using is dash l first to just to see see what type of what the one we will be using is dash l uh, which will show us all the partitions that exist so everything that is existed in struct so let me just clear this out so the first command we need to do is sudo let me just make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see okay. there you go uh, if you are wondering how to do that just do control shift plus and it will increase the size so now we can do sudo oops so now we can do sudo fdisk dash l and this will show you all the drives you have installed so first, let's see this one here, which is uh, dev slash sdp, and it's a 30 gigabit drive, and it just says the model. So I'm using a virtual drive, so it will say VBox hard disk. But in here, uh, if you have a physical drive, it will show the name of the drive. So if you're using a Toshiba or um, maybe a Western Digital, you know, whatever company you're using, or the model will show up here. And then this will say that what sectors it have. Now these are a more advanced things that we will not get into this video. So, but you can see that there is not anything else in here. So basically, this is an unpartitioned drive, so it does not have any partition in it. But on the other hand, this one is a drive that is partitioned, or this drive already. This is the one that has our Kali installed. Now, you can see in this section right here, it says that uh, there's dev.sda1, sda2, and sda3. These are basically all the partitions you have. So, the numbering is where it's located. So, anyway, but uh, just remember this one right here. So, whichever drive you want to partition, just select that drive right there. Make sure you are absolutely sure about it, and uh, because since it will like, format some stuff, and we will have to clear out some things in order to make this work, so make sure you select the correct drive. So this is the thing that you need to remember, and then, and what we can do is sudo f this, and then here just. Put the drive name that you want to partition or work on. Then you just select enter, and you can see it. At first, it says changes will remain in memory only until you decide to write them. So, if you are not writing it to the disk, it will just remember uh, whatever changes you made. And if you don't want them, you can just uh, cancel out of it. So it won't make any changes as you go it will just write all of it all together after you are done with your setup so uh, you can also just type m and if you type this it will show you all the commands you have or all the things you can do in order to uh, work with this system it says if you want some labels so it's a gpt mbr whichever label you want you can also see there is deleting partitions in the list free and partition space so there is a lot of things but in here you can see it says n which is add a new partition so we'll just type n and then after you do it n you can see it says partition type so what type of partition we want to do we have primary and extended so you can see in primary we have four free so we can make four primary partitions and logical partition are extensions of the primary partition and they just show up as you no know, uh, extra drives but you basically get 
four main partitions. So we'll go with the primary partition. So we'll give P, because the default is P, and then how many partitions we want. So I want one partition, so the whole thing will be a single partition. And you can just press enter, because you can see default is one, or now we can just type one and then hit enter. Now here you can see it's just first sector. Now first section is basically where the drive will start. So where the partition table will start from and where it and then it will ask for sector. But uh, I'll just keep it in default. It's fine to keep it in default. And then the last sector is basically where it will end. How big the partition will be. So if we are taking the entire drive, so we are taking whole partition then we can just leave it at default but if you want to you know, change it and you, if you want to do it in gigabytes let's say we want a 20 gigabyte partition we can do plus 20g and then if i hit enter now you can see it created a new partition new partition of 20 gigabytes that is something you can do if you want don't want to use the entire thing but you want to use a specific part of the drive or specific size so in that case this is how to do it but uh, i don't want it so we can see what we have done if i just type in p you can see here is our single mode partition that is of size 20 gigabyte but remember this is not written yet so this is just saved in memory and we can just delete it if you want. We can just type in D and then, you know, <laughs> there is one, as you can see, partition one has been deleted. So there was a single partition that was available and it just got deleted. And now if I just do P, you can see that there is nothing available. There is not a single partition on this. Now, <laughs> let me just go over that one more time. And just do new and then partition. We want one partition. And then I this time I want the entire thing. So if I just hit enter, you can see it says created a new partition of type Linux and of 20, 30 gigabytes. It's gigabytes because it's a GI. If you notice that, it's gigabytes. So this is another topic for another day but now what we have to do is actually write this to our disk and say hey i want to confirm my changes so if i just do w and hit enter now you can see it says partition table has been altered we just have to make it fixed so what we can do is sudo mkfs and then dot txt for and then the partition we want to make this format now i don't know what that partition is so if i want to know that i can just do fdx slash l and here you can see it just shows me what that device is so it's really handy to know and now, what I can do is just basically just type in the same command mkfs.ext4 and then slash dev slash stb1. So, this will make this one have a formatting type. So, if I just do enter, and you can see it says it's done. So now we have to mount our drive. To mount our drive first, we have to make space to where we want to mount it. So I'll create a directory, so mkdir, and then slash media, slash. So I'll just save my drive. And now this created a drive in the media folder, and I want to mount my 
new partition to that track. So oh sorry, we need sudo mount and let's change this to my drive. Oops, I have to go media. I drive and now if I hit enter. This just mounted to media slash my drive, and now you can see that this just popped up. So, so again, if you have a GUI, you can just visually see this. So, if I click on it, uh, you can see it just opens up this right here. So, this will open up the drive, and this is now mounted. So now after you have created the partition, uh, you might notice that, well, let me just copy this. You cannot actually do anything in it. So you cannot read or write to this uh, without having like sudo privileges. And to change the permissions, we have to do sudo chmod and then ugo. Uh, just hold on, I'll explain this in a bit. So plus wx. And then the path to your drive. So media slash my drive. And then if I hit enter, this will work. Now, what is this UGO? The U is for user, the G is for group, and O is for others. So anything that isn't root now has read and uh, execution permissions. So I write and execution permissions on this drive. And to prove this, we can do the same command again. And then if I hit enter, now you can see it actually copied over. To see if it actually copied over, we can just do cd. My drive. And then ls. You can see we have that image. So now if I just get into this, so we can have a GUI look at it. You can see the file is actually there. So that is basically how you create and mount and give permissions to drives. So now you can just add stuff to it, remove stuff from it everything and now you can see if I click on other locations it will show up space and everything uh, it needs because well it is mounted so that is basically how you create a partition in Kali Linux or any Debian based system thank you for watching if you found this video helpful hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye